forward to this day. This day that this child will be born. But God knows best. But I am very sure that he will be very happy if the voice of this child together with that of the mother can be heard. You are right, my daughter. I pray that the gods will smile on us. See. And grant a wish of a male child. Amen. That was what your father always prayed for. Try once more. Try. Yes. Try, try. You can do it. Look at it. I'm tired. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't say, say that. Try. Come on. You can do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, we are doing that. it is not something you will sit down mm -hmm. there and wish for it to solve itself. If you don't say, here I am, nobody will say, there you are. I mean, I will just that. Uzona, you will think, but there's nothing wrong with me stating the obvious to you. I know the obvious. It's my decision to make and not yours. The obvious is that Ademora is your cousin. You went to school, he went to school. You have loads of money, he equally has loads of money. And both of you are married. So what makes him more qualified to succeed your late uncle? What? Are you done? Allow me to think. My mother told me we were born on the same day. But the edge I have over him is that I know the culture and it's tradition the fourth man in the hierarchy of this kingdom. I think I know more than you think I do. <laughs> Ajay, I have always respected your wisdom and dedication to the entrenchment of true moral and traditional values of our land. And for this and more, the gods will never cease to bless you. And the gods will never cease to bless you, Ademora. <laughs> you see, I may not be speaking for the entire elders of Okara Kingdom, but as far as I'm concerned, 
you are the most qualified to sit on that throne. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, the day that that crown sits on this head, mm -hmm. I'll bring a cow to say thank you. <laughs> It is me. So when did this happen? Last night, Your Majesty. Unohu said I should also give you this letter. Your oh, Majesty. Thank you, sir. Sir, I came to inform you that Her Majesty has given birth to a bouncing baby boy. That's good. And also, Ono said I should give you this letter, sir. Thank you very much. You may leave now. All right, sir. Thank you. Is this the end of my dream of succeeding my uncle? Would the baby automatically be her apparent to the throne of our kingdom? This issue is giving me sleepless nights. And I swear I would have gone to the police if you had not stopped me, Pastor. You see, I mean, I had to stop you so we could talk first. So how true is this story? Pastor, everything that I have told you is the truth and nothing but the gospel truth. And they think that I don't know? Well, the birth of an heir to the throne has hastened the need for my father to be buried as soon as possible. No, oh, it, it is good that the dead should be buried. And is it also good for the dead to be buried with human heads? <laughs> no, that is one of the evil of um, ancient and outdated traditional worshippers, you know? But the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ has changed all that. My father, hey, is to be buried with seven, pastor, seven human heads. And that is the reason that they are going to hold the meeting they want to hold soon. Making me to believe that it is, it is because of the new newborn baby. Well, I am smarter than they thought. This is unbelievable. I mean, it is unacceptable. And it will happen, Pastor, if we do not do anything about it. So, what do you score? I passed everything. You got everything right. Are you serious? Give me five. Your dad was here this. That's good. Okay. So, where How are you? You don't look happy. What is it? My mother didn't come. She promised to be here. So, your mommy didn't come. That's why you're sad. But you know your mommy will not miss your visiting day for any other thing in the world if it wasn't for something important. Hmm? Okay, if I'm not your mommy, go ahead and feel sad. Oh yeah, also my mommy. That's my girl. Alright, you know what? I'm going to give you money to buy anything you want. This will be enough for you till mommy comes. Okay? 
Thank you, Mama. All right, baby. So you guys should go ahead. Go back. Go back to your hostels, okay? Mama, where are you going to? I'm going to this. We are going to leave where see mommy boss for it's for the both of us. It's coming to carry this one. My father had two brothers, Orakwe and Madwago. And both of them had a son, each, Uzona and Ademora, respectively. Unfortunately, longevity has not favored this family. And my father lost his two brothers and their wives before he died. You see, untimely death is not for the children of the Most High. I really do not know why it is like that. But I have always prayed and will continue to pray that divine intervention favors this family so that my cousins would not lose their lives before their time. Yes. Through him, all things are possible. I also have a stepbrother, and I do not want him to die before his time. I know that my father was a heathen, but he never, never stopped us from worshipping that one true God. Izimne is ready and also willing to give her life to Christ. Um, who is Izimne? My stepmother, the queen. Hallelujah. You see, old things will always pass away as we embrace the omnipotent God. His grace will always abide in us and strengthen us as we become a new creature in his glory. We will always believe in him. Your Highness, is the moist here. What does he want? He said that the new baby should be brought here. He will not dear touch. In fact, As and more, I greet. Greetings, Princess Zaram. Tell Her Majesty to bring the newborn king. Yes, the Azamor is here to pay homage to the newborn king. I am sorry, Azamor. You will not see the baby. Did I hear you, daughter of Anosike, say that I, Udoka, the son of Obinubu, Obinobute, Okanu, and Arawombo, man of Okara, the Ezemwa of Okaro will not see the newborn king. The mouthpiece of the gods. He that threats in places whereby the mere mention of it strikes fear into the hearts of mere mortals. I am not contesting all of that. But all I am saying is that you cannot see the newborn. And please, I advise you to go, go with your... Speak no more, daughter of Anosike. Princess of Okaro. You possess no spiritual powers to advise me. He that stays at home yet knows what happens in marketplaces in Farland. The frog does not wait in vain 
for the flying termites. I take my leave. Thank you very much, cousin. His name is Udoka. He is the chief priest. In fact, my father disavowed the previous ones for the reason I do not know. I made this one one of his chief priests. So the town has two chief priests or what? Yes. But you know, children, she was just so sad that you didn't come yourself to see her. My dear, something came up and it threw me off balance. Don't worry, next visit in there, I'll visit her. Okay. Did she tell you if she needed or, you know, needed anything, money? No, no, I gave her enough money that will last her till the next visit in day. So I'm sure she doesn't have any problems. You're such a darling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She's my daughter too, you know. <laughs> so do I... Offer you something, a drink, water. So you're trying to tell me that you cannot see what is happening right now. Are you leaving? Mm -mm. I'm sure my eyes are not bigger than yours to see that it is getting dark. <laughs> oh, please. I have to go. My husband must be home now. All right. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you serious? Hey, this is good news. Oh, and I stopped at Kuzona's house, but his wife didn't tell me anything like that. Well, I have just told him. Isn't they put to bed late last hey. night? Hey! God, I am so happy. So that means the throne of Okara Kingdom now has an heir. Hmm, this is good news. You can say that again. Hmm? Well, that means anybody sitting on that throne now would just be holding brief for the little baby. Hey, God. God is good, though. So unfortunate that the king did not live to see his son. Anyway, I'll go and see the baby tomorrow morning. Before you go there and see the baby tomorrow morning, make me some food. I'm starving. Mm. Ah, baby. I'll make you food now. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy. As a more, I heard the news. But you did not hear this. I went to the palace to see the new bunker to pledge my loyalty and give him the protection of the gods. But I was denied the honor of carrying out my duty. Who stopped you from doing that? Princess Zaram, of course. Um, Ezemo, please, do not count this as evil. The mind of a child is nothing but what it is. I'll take care of this. Your Majesty, you have finally silenced our enemies. <laughs> I am so happy that this baby has finally arrived. Hey, Sonia. I am very, very happy. Very happy. If only my husband were alive to see him. Your Majesty, do not go there at all. Listen, let me tell you. Wherever he is now, he is very, very happy. Well, what can I say? Hey, who's on that? You're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Your Majesty, I was informed that the Ezemo came to perform his duties on the child, and Zaram stopped him from performing his duties. Well, Zaram did what she thought was the best. Your Majesty, with all due respect, Zaram knows nothing thing about how things work in the palace. Ezemo must have to. Uh, your, your Majesty. The former Ezemo is here. Okbareke. Yes, Your Majesty. And what is Okbareke doing here?
you have no business being here. If you are not careful, the gods will make you their business. What if again, ma'am? You're no longer the SM more. So I suggest that. I disagreed with your uncle when he deviated from the norms of the land. And in his mortal wisdom, ceased to recognize my office and made an apprentice of a lesser god, his SM more. My uncle had his reasons. And his decision still stands. So I suggest that you go. Son of Anosike! Only the gods know who speaks for them. Don't be the proverbial answer that challenges Ichi to a fight after a heavy meal. Bring out the heir to the throne of Okaro Kingdom so that I can... Ezemo, my baby is still asleep. I shall send for you as soon as he wakes up to come and see him. <clears throat> you gotta do what? went to see the new baby and Princess Zaram refused and even asked him to leave the palace. <clears throat> Princess Zaram. <clears throat> she has the bravery of her father and that is not a good omen to allow a woman to run that palace like that even to the extent of desecrating the presence of the chief priest of the land. I don't think she understands the enormity of her actions. The late Igwe made Uduka the Ezemwa of this kingdom. And it is your duty to uphold it. Ajay. To be honest with you, I'm entertaining some second thoughts about this Ezemwa issue. I think I need to make some more consultations to really determine where Udoka's loyalty really stands. There is no time to waste. I'm going. Things are getting more now we saw them, it's better for us. Oh no. We are already aware that things are complicated. And we don't have to repeat that statement over and over and over again. The first thing we have to do is to take a bold step towards solving the problem. Ajay. Why don't we start from solving the issue of who retained the office of the chief priest? Don't you think it's worth solving? And how do we solve that, Ajay? Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. That is not the only problem we have at hand. We have not solved the problem of who succeeds the late Igwe. Is it Ademora or Ozonna? I hope you have not forgotten so soon that Igwe has a son. Though he sat there as a regent. <laughs> yes. That is very true. Very, very true. In fact, his wife has just put to death. Uh, that means whoever sits on that throne sits there temporarily. Ajay, I thought you were talking of solving the problem instead of talking about them. Eh? Odu. Odu. Hmm? 
you will not understand. Mm. You will not. Okay. No matter how hard the decision is, it must be taken. See? Uh, the issue of uh, 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 getting the requirements for the uh, King's Barrier must take priority. We must get the heads. We must. Hmm? We must. Hit. We must. Yes. That I didn't tell them doesn't mean they didn't get the same message the same way we got it. We needed to have seen how Sonia was relaxed talking with the Queen. To make the Queen agree to whatever proposals Ademora will make to her. I'm sure they say scheming to make Ademora the regent. I'm sure. It's obvious. It is. I hope you are able to see her majesty and the baby. Hmm. I saw them now. That baby is so cute and sweet. Do you know I could hardly drop him and leave the palace? <laughs> Seriously, that baby has brought so much joy to that palace. Everybody is happy. Ranging from the guards to the maids, they are all grinning from ear to ear. Even the queen looks so refreshed. You can hardly see the pains of widowhood on her. <laughs> what? Sign of good things to come. I only wish the little girl was alive. Your cousin. He got me really worried though. What happened? Fuzona. If you see the way he backed into the palace, as if something was after him. Was anything after him? Nothing was after him all. He actually came to ask the queen why she allowed Princess Zaram to stop the Ezemo from carrying the baby. While they were still at it, a guard came in and announced that former Ezemo also wants to see the baby. Uzona just attacked him. Obaleke? Yes. Well, Uzona may have had his reasons for whatever actions he took, but I think... And uh, his reasons are not far from wanting to succeed the late baby. Listen, if you ask me, I'll say you should just allow him to sleep on that plane. Yes, so that we can just focus on more important things. Seriously. of joy, but it will not dim the light of the fact that the late Yugwe has to be buried. And the earlier we do that, the better for us. Hmm. And burying him is not like burying an ordinary man. He was wealthy and a king. Burying him will require seven human heads. Exactly. We have to organize the boys that will go and hunt for the head. Oh no. Ajib, my brothers, I greet you. I am still the princess of Okaroland. The only daughter to my father, the late king. Igwe and Nechi Anosike. 
So with due respect, I wish to let you people know my position as regards my father's burial. Zaram, this meeting is for men and I would not... Princess, what is it? Zaram, is this not what we can discuss after the meeting? I do not want anybody, indigent or strangers, to lose their life because of my father's burial. I do not want my father to be buried with any human head. Are you insane? What are you talking about? You patched in here disrespectfully and instead of showing remorse, you're here accusing us of something as inconceivable as burying the letty boy with human heads. Uzanna, I have just had my view. You made me proud. Mm. 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 Fine, baby. Mm. So, my grandchild. Is that not Princess Zara's voice that I'm hearing? Maybe she's arguing with her brothers. Okay. Let me go downstairs and see what it is. Yes, ma'am. Bundum, bundum. My grandchild. My son. I'm a man, I don't mind. I'm a man, I don't mind. I'm a man, I don't mind. I'm a man, I don't I'm only child one, my own grandson. You don't know how happy I am to have you. for no he sent uh, for me okay um it's not around though but you can come in and wait for him we'll join you shortly okay okay this way thank you very much yeah. You were a toddler when your parents died. And I'm quite sure that you don't know much about the history of the throne of Okaro. I just know bits and pieces which don't really amount to anything. The Letty Igwe and I, we are not getting on fine. But because nobody from this community was ready to fight me, it wasn't easy for him to replace me with another Ono. Oh Clifford, no. your father was the king 
this Okaro that was assassinated in his prime. Amechi, Amosike was asked to be regent pending when you are of age. But like, <laughs> like every other man or like man, he made himself a king. Fighting anybody that stood against him. But, but I don't know about that. The time for another king to sit on the throne of Okaro is drawing near. And I want you to know that it has not been forgotten that you have the legitimate claim to the throne of Okaro. Oh no. I know Sikhe family. I don't think they would like that. I mean, how can I think of claiming that throne? Look, don't bother yourself about that. Listen to me now. From now on, you have to be very careful what you do, what you say, what you eat, and where you go from now on. Expressed our personal views, and it's left for us to do what has to be done. Please, let me be. That they want to bury my father with human head. For what? Get that thing. Sit down. Then... What kind of stupid meeting are they holding? Holding meeting in the sense that me, I do not know. Mama, me, they are down of this house. They think I will not Mama. have a seat in my father's burial. Stop Please. stressing yourself. As in the if it is not you today, what I would have done? They know me. Mama. Hey. Don't happen! Ah! What nonsense! Hey! Is in the what? What do you Mama!
could possibly be happening? This is it. Godwin! Where, where is my son? And her mother too. Eh? They should be in the house. But I, I did not see them. Okay. Zaram, eh? are my mother and son missing? Ah, oh, that is not possible. Eh? What are you trying to tell me? You, you, you didn't see anybody live with my mother and son? Uncle? Yes? Why didn't you tell me this all these years? Why? My boy. Everything in life has its season. It will be waste of time and resources to harvest yams weeks after planting them. But uncle, you know, you know, you know, the knowledge of this won't be any, any harmful to me in any way. You know, you have known the truth. Though I kept it away from you, I even went extra mile in convincing people that we are not interested again in the throne. Uncle, why? My boy, if the late Igwe perceived that you are a kind of any threat, to be honest, he will not hesitate to kill you. Uncle, is my life still in danger? Give it time, please. Everything will be right. I'll show you that. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. The youths could not find them. Jesus. That is not possible. Okay. That is not possible. Meaning what? Where and where did they search? Everywhere. What do you mean everywhere? Eh? Did you no, just no, say? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Did you say everywhere? I don't know. Don't worry. It is our own. Don't finish! Don't give up hope! Don't give up hope! Just stand up! Stand what are you saying? You will be fine! You will be fine! How can my mother and son disappear without a trace in a house full with people? Do you know what you're saying? Hey! God! No! It's not possible! 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 I know it's not possible! It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. I do not know what the both of you are thinking. But it beats me that the both of you were outside this compound when my mother-in-law and my little brother disappeared. Now tell me, did they suddenly grow wings and flew away? But your highness, but keep your highness. quiet! If eventually my mother-in-law and my little brother are not found, I will make sure that the both of you will suffer the way you have never imagined. I will personally lock the two of you and leave you there to rot in jail. is really mysterious how possible is it that an elderly woman with her grandchild would disappear in a place like like the palace without a trace now I appeared while I was quarreling with Sarah but how can that be how possible is that the disappearance of that boy will not be without his own calamity 
I mean, this incident, this disappearance of Chukwebuka, portends great danger to everyone in that palace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. What is the problem? I am shocked at the evil of human desires. What? Pastor, talk to us, talk to us. What evil are you talking about? You see, the throne of the Okaros doesn't originally belong to this family. But the fear of losing this throne has driven this family into sacrificing the direct blood of the king, believing to be the king. And by so doing, it will stamp the authority of the blue blood on the bloodline of the Anosikes. Pastor, don't tell me that my son is dead. Your son may have been sacrificed. What? Oh. Oh. Pastor! Which member, or rather members of this family, would want to sacrifice Chukwebuka? Hey! What happened to him and my mother in law? Pastor! I am all equivocal about this, and I will shout it to high heavens. You and Mr. Nam must tell me what. In fact, both of you must provide my missing mother in law and my stepdaughter. Eh? Sonia, did you hear your husband? Yeah. No, did you hear him? Yeah. Tell him to provide those missing people or else. Yeah. Tell him. Or else what? Oh, so I will beg you your life miserable if you don't, if you don't take, take it easy. Okay. Now get out of my house. I am not going out, Adam. Get out. Adam, you think this is the end? Eh? No. You think this is the end? No. I mean, what have I done to be dragged to this place? Oh, my boys brought you here. And you have the gods to talk. Give him 24. Good. Down. Get down. Ay! 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 Down. Ay! 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 Jesus. It's obvious you are not enjoying the wages of making inflammatory statements or prophecy, as you would call it. Stay away from my family. You take him away. Get out. And when you're done with him, don't get him somewhere. I sent for Clifford, the son of Letty Bemezier. Why? The throne of Ogaro is vacant as he stands now. And I happen to know that he is the rightful heir to that throne. We are supposed to bury the late Yugwe before talking of a successor. See, I only informed the young man that he has a history tied to the throne of Okaro. Mm -hmm. um, um, oh no, oh no, oh no. <clears throat> um, how do we stand now as regards the materials? Necessary for the burial of the late Igwe Mezi. Ade, we are waiting. Mm. Eh? We are waiting. Thank you. 
Where are you from? Were you not the ones who told us that you are from this town? And that Tondo who knows you personally? Just allow me to blow off his head before he talks. Uh, officer, you can see the problem upstairs. Uh, oh, no. We are very sorry indeed. We have to be on our way. Officer, pick them up. So much pain. Come on. So much tears. Go. There is sorrow everywhere. Come on. Some Come on. people want to rule the world. Hasn't everybody forgotten that Maisie's family once ruled over this kingdom? Not everybody. Not everybody. In fact, Uno has told Igwe Maisie's son that he's likely to sit on that throne after the burial of Igwe Anosike. We'll see to that. Adimara, the greatest shock came uh, when some policemen stormed the Onowu's house as he was seen of some elders they arrested some boys and claimed that the boys were mandated to cut off human heads What? They were arrested? What were those fools doing? The police claimed that the boys were caught trying to cut off somebody's head but the amazing thing is that when the boys were asked to talk, none of them could alter a word. Well, you know that when uh, Udoka said he was going to prepare a charm that would make uh, the boys lose their minds in case they were caught? I was there. I was there, but... <laughs> Ademora, with the turn of events, I think we have to change strategy. We have to change strategy. You see, this rift between you and your brother has weakened the strength of the Anosiki family. Eh? Hey? Uh, Ademora, I think you have to go and make peace with your brother, Uzonna. So that both of you can present a single formidable front that can wrestle any opposition to a standstill. Sounds like a good idea. But you don't know half of why we went our separate ways. I, I would have uh, loved it if you are here with your cousin. But all the same, you see, I wanted to, to see both of you so we can discuss some things on top of the list is you are let uncle Iwe Anosike. Oh no, I'm all ears. You see, your uncle ruled uh, Okaro with iron fist and he has died, leaving a trail of enemies that will make sure that they destroy anything in that name Anosike. You see it? You both, both of you should should bury your, bury your pride and work towards building a better family than your uncle left. Reconciling. Oh no, I greet you. So I was supposed to be at home while you conclude plans with your no one how to make you the next king of the Cairo community. I thought we were supposed to be here together. Uzana, don't make things up. No, no. It's not what you're thinking. You must be stupid to think I am a fool. What does it look like? Don't you call me names, don't you? If I call you names and call, you asked me to wait for you at home while you sneaked out and came here and skimmed your way. That's around nonsense. No, what are you talking about? That's Stop nonsense. That madness. How can both of you come here to do this? In my compound. Why? How? When a rope is caught, no matter how hard he tried to bend it, 
it will never be the same length as it was before. Ajay, I will say this before my wife. I am no longer interested in becoming the king of Okara Kingdom. I'll have everything with my brother and he can have all the throne for all I care. As long as I can have it, I'm no longer interested. You boys have done a great job. Carry them, let's go and carry them. Relax. Everything I will saw be. My mother. I saw my mother. I saw her carry my baby. As in you, you saw her physically or you dreamt of her? I saw my mother. She's carrying my baby. I'm so scared. I can't sleep. I can't sleep alone. I'm just calm down, okay? Because I am very, very sure it's just a dream. Everything will be fine. Okay? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. Okay, you know what? Um, come with me. Come to my room. Let's go. You will sleep. have said have not in any way explained to me what happened to my mother who how an inconsiderate can you be you lost your brother and that does not even bother you and maybe this is not just about your mother as far as i'm concerned the two of you owe me the explanation i demand because she came here listen to yourself you know it and every other person does that we don't live here with her we have our different homes and do not necessarily need to know what goes on here. You were not in your different homes where my mother and my nephew disappeared in this palace? You were in the palace. The crew have disappeared right under your noses if there was no conspiracy. I will be cautioned. Mind your tongue. I suggest you get out of here. I'm not living here. Or do you, you two of you give me a person like you? I'm not living here. Come on, baby. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not leaving. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
Opaleke, the wise one. Agreed. Oh no, no. It isn't take no sozu epuini. The fly that refuses to heed advice ends up in the grave with her cubs. It's a true word. Okaro's fate will not be different from that fly if the hand of the monkey in the soup pot is not removed before those served the soup would call it a human hand. We are trying our best to put things right. Mm, be decisive and honest in whatever you do because you are the leader that Okaro knows now. Ishaba has warned that Anusike's barrier does not require a human head. Amechi Anusike was never king. Never was any drop of blue blood running in his family. Yes. I have started the move to make sure that the crown is returned to the rightful owner. Mm. See that it is done. And under no circumstance must Amechi Anusike be buried with a human head. Ichaba has spoken. And I have delivered this message. So much pain, so much tears. There is sorrow everywhere. Some people want to rule the world anyway, anyhow. I don't understand is whether Okbareke said that because of the issues he had with the late king or because it is the right thing. Oh no. Why don't we consult Udoka and see what he has to say about it? Consult who? We all know how he became as a more. Without being told, I can tell you what his answer will be. Uh, in as much as I know that Mise's family has illegitimate claims to the throne, I strongly believe that Igwe Anosike should be given a king's burial. Okbaleke doesn't think so. We have to consult others. In fact, we have to convince others. Yes? No. You are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah. Who are you and what can I do for you? My name is Amu Beonkwe, a brother in law to the Amosi case. It is no longer news that my mother disappeared alongside my little nephew in a bright light in a palace filled with people. I don't know the crime I have committed for coming to act the whereabout of my mother. It is no longer news. And you did not commit any crime by coming to ask. Instead of getting an answer, what I got was a fight. Who fought you? Who's on that deed? And I have come to let you know, before I take my own action, they are not going to get away with this. Is that all? No, sir. <clears throat> there is something I will want to tell you, but I don't know how you will feel about it. Mr. Koye, say what you want to say. I'm worried less about how I will feel about it. Can I speak freely? Tell me what you want to tell me. I'm listening. I have been long enough in the palace to know certain things. I still believe you can be a stronger and a better king. But this your hot temperedness will not play in your favor when the chiefs are down. You have my attention, so go on. It will be better if you tend to be more accommodating, like your brother Admora. He doesn't show his anger. Shut up. 
if you want to tell me anything I would appreciate it if you go straight to the point without mentioning any name sir this officer want to see you sir officers what can I do for you I am Inspector Chigozi Uba and this is Sergeant Udo we are here to invite you to the Central Police Station. For what? It's in connection to an allegation leveled against you by one Amobi Onwekwe. Okay, let me pick up my phone. It's been charged. Please be fast about it. Pay exactly what we're paying you for. You were here in this house. Two policemen walked in and, uh, and took your arrested your boss and you're telling me you don't know what to say. Madam, that's a wrong perception of the situation. He was only invited. He was only invited? Yes, ma'am. Chuma, turn that fire your mouth. Did you hear me? I said turn that fire that your stupid mouth. Don't let me vet my anger on you this evening, you know. Which police station did they take them to? Uh, Central Police Station, madam. My name is Ademora Masike. I'm looking for Clifford Mezier. I'm Clifford Mezier. Good, good, good. Now, I, I have a proposition for you, but I need us to talk in private. Okay. If our side here is not private enough for you, can we go inside? expect me to be intimidated because you want to be the next king of Okaro. <laughs> I have not said anything, nor has my conduct shown that I'm intimidating you. But what I want is whatever we discuss here to be between us. Now, tell me, what do you want? What makes you think I want anything in exchange of what rightfully belongs to me? You might be entertaining the idea of becoming the king. But I want to let you know that to be a king, you need money. And I mean loads of money. Otherwise, you become a laughing stock or a puppet in the hands of the rich. You will die in regret if you cannot match your actions with the amount of money needed at each occasion. I've never been afraid of challenges. See, I am still young. And oh, yeah. I... You're still young. Not younger than other persons. But you haven't got any family of your own. Now that you have a company your own. So what are the challenges you're talking about? All I ask of you is to stand firmly and declare I have your blessings to sit on the throne of our forefathers when the time comes. 
That's all. All right. This is my card. You may need it, but I'm sure you definitely need it. Get across to me when you have given the tough. Dalo. I will have a misunderstanding with Amobi. And when he decides to call the police, he sends them after you. Why? Don't worry yourself, my dear. Everything happens for a reason. It was even good that I went to the police station. If I didn't go there, I wouldn't have known that Matthew is now there. In fact, it was a really big surprise to see you there. But guy, I didn't know that you have become such a big man. Uh, forget that, Matthew. Forget that. <laughs> Matthew, now that you've known my place, feel free to come here anytime you have the chance. Hmm? Don't mind that food that brought me to that police station. It was only a pawn in the game of trying to skim me out of becoming the next king of my town. That's all. You know, the IPO is a good friend of mine. He reliably informed me that the complainant had wanted you to be detained as long as possible. You see? You see? I knew it. But you know, it cannot be possible because I'm there. Well, the idiot has done his worst. I'll teach him a little lesson he will never forget. <laughs> Tempers are bound to rise. But I want to beg us all to calm down and take things easy, please. Take things easy? Is that what you are telling me? Amobi, I know how you feel. But I beg you, go to the police and have Osomna released, please. The same police that are holding him are the same ones who have not been able to find your mother nor the heir apparent to the throne of this community. Oh, oh. oh this is not what Her Majesty needs now. You people are just getting her upset. God. What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Just take it easy. I'm sorry, Her Majesty. Really, really sorry. Ademora. Ademora. Oh, I can't. I can't. It's okay. Ademora. Ademora. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's their children. God, with their children. Why would my own be missing? Why? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Why? It's okay, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> it's okay now. It's okay now. Adimora, even though I do not like the fact that I'm going to be called in the police to arrest Uzona, but I want you to know that you and Uzona still remain my prime suspect as to what happened to the missing people. All on the assumption of a half-baked, hungry, gold-seeking pastor? If you were that sure, why didn't you tell the exact person or persons who did it? Why don't you go to the police or to the court and let him take the witness stand and say that God told him we sacrificed two members of this family. If you were not my sister, I would have dealt bitterly with you. Adimara, you think I care about what you would do to me? You think eh? you're the only person who is concerned here? I have traversed the length and breadth of this community. It's And I don't know why it was convenient for you that this Nikon Pope took me to the police station. You're now socializing with him, huh? Uzonna, please, don't start. And you? I know you're surprised to see me because you thought they were going to detain me at the police station. But I tell you, you have beaten more than you can ever chew. And I will not fail to show you that.
Gredo. Oh. Gredo, come get the water to wash my hands. <coughs> when you visit a craftsman, when he's busy, it always seems he says no. Um, get up, let's go inside now. That I'm, at least I can give you cola nut. Now that I'm through with what I was doing. Um, SMO, there will be no need for that. Please sit down. Let me tell you why I'm here. All right. I am all ears. Son of Anosike. Um, Ezemo, you know that nature abhors vacuum. So, no matter what has happened, somebody must sit on the throne. And I do not think there is anybody in this kingdom that is more qualified than myself to sit on the throne. And I say this with all humility. That is why I'm here. To seek your support. And be rest assured. That once I ascend the throne. Your position as the chief priest of this kingdom will be restored. What do you know? Son of Anosike. The spirituality of being the mouthpiece of the gods transcends all kinds of mortal politics. And it is not a position neither you nor any other mortal can offer. Um, as a mo, mm -hmm. it is true that my uncle deposed you as the SMO and made Udoka the SMO and the whole town accepted it. I am going to change all that. If I cannot stop whoever parades himself as the mouthpiece of Ishaba. The child that swallows Udala's seed must consider the size of his anus. Son of Anosike, your uncle was never a king. He was only a regent. And you will never be king of Okaro. Ah. Okbaleke, I can see that I did more has come here before me. The man that dances to the tune of the flute of a woman does not know when he jumps the barrier between life and death. The ear that refuses to listen when you cut off the head, he falls on the ground. It's done. Eh? You're looking so kept. Mommy, wake up. I didn't know why you came. What about my mother? Mm -mm. All these questions at the same time. Which one will I answer? Anyway, excuse me. I want to talk to Amara alone. Why are you talking to him like that? You shut up and listen to me. Why are you questioning me? Amara, if anyone does not want your father to be happy, the person does not want us to be happy as well. And I don't think there's sense in having any business to do with such a person. Don't you think so? Is it not you I'm talking to?
My uncle's corpse is lying there in the mortuary. Face up. We're looking for my in-law. And more importantly, the heir apparent to the throne of Okara Kingdom. It is this same throne that has been the bone of contention between me and my cousin. We have enough problems on our hands in the family. I don't want further divisions. That is a wise decision. We have already seen the damage that division has caused in the family. We are glad you want it stopped. But how do you think you can stop that? That's why I'm here. Oh no. Oh do. I want to seek your wise counsel. But on my own part, I have decided to relinquish any interest I have on that throne. Admiral CK, you are a man. I thank you for, for taking such bold step. It will be well with you. Uh, but by the way, what do you think about giving back the seat to the family where it originally belonged? I have also thought about that. I have decided to compensate that boy. I've asked him to look for a wife and I'll sponsor all the engagements. And I also discovered he has no business he's doing. So I've asked him to look for a business. I can put some money into food to make him more responsible. Oh, Adimorama. You are a true son of your father. Hey, this is good. This is good. Is this how we lost? We have not lost that. There is an option. Option. Ajay, what option is it? Um, in spirit and truth, the rightful heir to that throne is not Chukwe Buga. But Clifford Nezie, go and meet him. Maja, I know the boy. That little boy has no say in this. <laughs> Ozomna, that little boy has every say in this matter. If you give him the power, he is just out of school looking for a job. Make him an offer. How do you know? You see, <coughs> see <coughs> instead of fighting for the throne, come out and declare your support for the young man to be crowned king. Then, based on the understanding between both of you, he will openly decline to be crowned king and ask Okaro to crown you king instead. <laughs> Ajie, you're a genius. Ajie, you're a genius. Just do it. Just use this one. Ajie, you're a genius. Let me go and see you. You're a genius. So what do you say? That was a generous offer, but my bet right is not for sale. No, no, I... I think you don't understand how generous this offer is. Okay. I went through hell to see myself through in university. And with the unemployment rate in this country, I don't even know what tomorrow holds. I am certain of what 10 million naira can do in my life. I'm just giving you the insight of the fact that I understand how generous your offer can be. Then take it and give me what I want. Like I said before, it's not for sale. 
Okay, what if I double the offer? Would that make you change your mind? If you don't have any other thing to say, can I please take my leave? I can see how stubborn you are. But don't forget in a hurry that we are still the custodian of the crown. I'm weighing you on the scale on anything whatsoever. It is evident that you cannot restore the crown of the Anosy Gate. You've just lost out, my boy. And what if I decide to officially hand the throne over to Adimara? Who would that make a loser? Are solidly behind him. You needed to have seen how they were supporting him happily. As if he has already been crowned. I felt so bad. Hey. What about Clifford? Why don't you put more pressure on him? That imp. That imp told me to my face that he will give his official backing to Ademar. It's not as if I really want you to be the king at all costs though, but find out what Ademar gave to them, how much, and double it or triple it. I don't understand. He has bought everybody over, including Opaleke, the former Izemo. I don't know where I stand. What about Udoka, the present chief priest? Udoka. Udoka is nothing more than the south end of a sick cow. Nobody knows where or who he stands for. Stop this now. Hey, stand up. Stand up now. This is not good now. Yes. We are all one. Stand up. You're also my wife. I will not fail to listen to your pains. There's no family on this earth that doesn't have its own challenges. But our ability to sort out our difference makes us an ideal family. I will look for a more opportune town, sit down with my brother and iron out the differences. But please get up. Please, I beg you. I have the right to feel the way I do. And I also have the right to say whatever I want to say to anybody that I suspect to have a hand in the disappearance of my son and my mother. Do you expect me to call out the drums and celebrate? Well, my grief pulled me into a shell. But I disagree to be in that shell anymore. I need to face my problems before they drive me nuts. I am not saying that you do not have the right to say all you said. And I'm not expecting you to be happy in this condition anyway. So you know my condition? Ozona, you know my condition. What have you done about my condition? It was as if you people were happy that my son disappeared. After all, his death, God forbid, is it just a coincidence that Chukwe Buka should disappear the day you and Adimore were fighting over his father's throne? Don't you get it? Don't you think that somebody wants him out of the way? You and Adimore should put heads together and find a lasting solution to the problems that we are facing in this family. I gave Adimore my own peace of mind towards the missing child and my mother-in-law, just as I gave you. Well, Ademara may be a coward, but your bravery was to go and beat up a man of God. 
I... You people should stop this fight. Stop the fight because it's not giving any answers to many problems running wild in my head. Please. This is what I have to say. Who's on? You should go and beg that man of God for forgiveness and make peace with your brother so that we all can sit down and find a lasting solution to the problems of this family. It will be wickedness for the two of you to be fighting for your own selfish interests while this family disintegrates. My brother, I don't know what brought you to my house. And since you left the way you did, I would probably not know. But now that I'm here, I'll tell you my reason for coming. Uzonna, you and I have no reason fighting each other. None whatsoever. And trust me, I want us to put an end to this madness. So I'm here to apologize to you for whatever wrong I have done to you. You're a very good man. And you're lucky to have Adobe as a wife. She's very concerned about this rivalry between us. And she has given me the courage to come to you and apologize. You may not like to talk to me. You may not want to speak to me. You may not want to embrace me. But I just consider what I have come here for. To apologize to you. Function better when we're all living in peace. Be cool. Yeah? See, now you even came back with me to beg you. Please. And I, I didn't want to tell you before going there because I know you refuse. 
Oh no, it has worked out for me. Let's just forget and move on. Be gone. for everything that I've done against you. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. As regards that throne, it's obvious that you have a better standing than myself. I don't know what you gave to everybody, but while I was trying to have my way, I just discovered that they all have given you their support and heart. Sir, is more said to see it? Which is a more? Udoka. Tell him I'm busy. I'll see him later. Yes, sir. But you should have seen him. Could be something very important. What is more important than making peace with my brother? Nothing. I want to salute your courage for making peace. It takes a man to say I'm sorry. I think this is the beginning of our brotherly love and I salute you for taking the bold initiative. You know, they say it's good and it's pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity. Exactly. And I really am happy about this. Brethren? Barbara? Yes, baby. Good afternoon. So, Chef, I was about bringing her to you. Is she the one we'll be waiting for? Yes, sir. This is great. That's a girl Clifford wants to marry. You certainly did not make the wrong choice, boy. Thank you, sir. And since my brother confirms you've made the right choice, Let's go ahead. What I said earlier still stands. Commence with arrangements. Tell your people. Revert to me and we'll get it off from there. I understand. Thank you very much, sir. All right, then. Um, you also made the right choice as regards what I wanted from you. I think as the only child that I should get married as soon as possible. <laughs> What's so funny? Come here. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> I could still see the look of surprise on the poor boy's face as we were leaving. What did you expect? We had gone to him with our different propositions. That gave him the impression that we are each other's throats. And then he sees us together. That will give confusion to any person. Well, I'm sure he got the message that we are now one. And whatever promise you gave to him, is wrong with it. Exactly. And this same message should go to everybody in our kind of community. Especially those that want to capitalize on our misunderstanding to cause more damage to the family. Mm -hmm. And anyone who wants to cause any disaffection between us again has us to contend with. You didn't tell me that we are expecting a visitor. A very beautiful one for that. 
How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Uncle, I know you must be very tired, very, very tired, and you are coming from a long meeting. Why don't you sit down and relax your weary bones first? Can you imagine that? You are telling me that my bones are weary. I stood on my feet on the parade when I was with 31 infantry. Uncle, Uncle, don't, don't, don't just start without your old army, old army stories. Please, please don't just start. Sit down first. My dear, what's your name? I'm Barbara Okorode from Umungu. Now, oh, good, she actually from Umungu. Oh, from Umungu. I I know one family from Umungu. Um, are you the daughter of Monica Okorude? She was a teacher. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I am. She's my mom. Eh? <laughs> come, come, my dear. <laughs> and greet me well. Thank uh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Have you offered her every good thing in the house? I've taken care of her very, very well. I actually, baby, go. go. I actually brought her to meet you. Okay. Sit down, my dear. Yeah, so if now you want to sit down, you need to sit down before. This is interesting. My dear, how is your mother? She's fine, sir. <laughs> what my father said. If you don't want to take us out, I will quietly go inside and tell him that you refuse to take us out. Was it your father or Chibike's father that gave the instruction? I know. They want us to go out so they can discuss like grown up. If you don't, if you don't want to take us, we will go back and sit with them. And uh, come, let's go back inside. And where do you think you're going to? We are going inside to tell his father that you don't want to take us out. Uh, come, let me take you out. Bring the money. Yeah. No, we have it. And we can buy our things ourselves. Okay. 
<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, this is good news. We have realized that rivalry will cause us setbacks and divisions as a family. Therefore, we have decided to move on as one big indivisible family. We all know why the Lady Bear has not been buried. That's a huge problem we have on our hands. The good news is also that he'll be buried without any human hands. <laughs> this is more like it. <laughs> After the burial, we will, as one big family, intensify all effort to ensure that we get to the root of the disappearance of Chukwebuka and his grandmother. Um, thank you very much, Ademola. From henceforth, we will work together in this family as one. Mona Ademola. From today, only had this backing You are the one backing I am the one backing <clears throat> um, I'm sure these two glasses are not for you. Mm. Oh well, one belongs to me, and the other belongs to someone very special. Mm. Mm. Okay, so what are you looking for here? I came to see you privately. You know, everyone is happy with the new development. Just like me, Ademora is very stubborn. And I know that if it weren't for you, this piece would still be a mirage. Oh well, actually I did what I had to do. But seriously, it was his decision to make up with you. Thank you very much. I owe you big time. And to show my appreciation for your contribution, this glass belongs that wow. special person is meant for me. Thank you very much. Uh, Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Nice wine. <laughs> Why is it that I cannot drink water and drop the cup wherever I want in my house? What are you looking for in my house for the night? Why are you sneaking up in people's houses? Stop blabbing like a four-year-old child and listen to the voice of reason and wisdom. 
Obaleke. Voice of wisdom and reason. Where is it coming from, Obaleke? Your evil deeds are about to find you out. Udoka. Your redemption lies only in going to the village square and confessing your sins. What rubbish are you talking about? Baleke? What nonsense are you talking about? Ishaba has spoken. I know it. I know it that from the day I emerged as the chief priest of Wakara, you've never been happy. But I tell you, you cannot do anything. You can't do nothing. Okay. I have delivered the message of Ishaba. You are a liar, Baleke. You are a liar, Baleke. Where was I when Ishaba revealed that to you? Ishaba recognizes me and not you, Baleke. You are fake. And your words are fake. You see, the God I serve does not want you to fight anybody. Just be still and see how the glories of your life are defeated. I told your brother this and he insisted I tell you myself. The people you seek are now dead and buried. What? They were used in a ritual that will ensure that someone without a blue blood will be made king. Pastor, are, are you saying that my mother and my... Oh. What, what, what is the name of this? Can somebody just tell me? Show me the girl he wants to marry. And I will provide the, the, yes, the needed forms when they are set. Okay. Dad? What did you do to sit? Come from the palace. We all ate the same thing. Did you eat anything differently?
job I gave you wine. Yes, he gave me wine. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me take you to the hospital. Try and get off. Try and get off. Oh my god. Oh my god. time to go through these uh, documents yes I'm, I, I don't have problem with that you can take your time and go through it hmm? um, but I need to take you to the factory this morning yeah if you're ready I'm ready okay just give me some few minutes to to wear my shoe So much tears, there is sorrow everywhere. Some people want to rule the world anyway, anyhow. You don't know who is who, you don't know who to trust. Waiting for. Open the gate now. Sorry, sir. I can't. Are you mad? What do you mean you can't? No one is inside, so I was instructed not to let anyone in. Right. Is it true Sonia is dead? Yes, ma'am. She is. So, where is Ademora? He drove out a few minutes back with some elders. I don't know where he's going to. yesterday. What could have happened to her suddenly? What could have happened to her? 
It is not true. What baffles me is that she ate what everyone else ate and drank what everybody drank here in this palace. Why are we suffering from multiple death? But what have we done to deserve this? Hey, Timo! Timo! This is fine. I, I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> this is just a tip of the iceberg. Hmm? Just do as you have agreed with him, and your life will never be the same. <laughs> okay. Ah, I, 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 I can I can see. I can in fact I've already done that. <laughs> hey, my phone. <laughs> uh, hello? Yes. Eh? Hey, hey, hey! Eh? Hey! What, 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 what Something that? terrible has happened in the village. Please, let's go. Come to console me after killing my wife? Hey. Ademora, what are you talking about? This is a very serious allegation to make. And who are those fools that let this murderer in here? Hey. Are you stupid? Now get out of my compound. Ademora, please calm down. Please calm down. Get out. Get out. Please calm down. You can see he's passing through a lot. Can he do as he said? Hey. Ademora, you're not being fair to me. Why would I kill your wife? I said get out! Please, calm down, Ademora. Don't tell me to calm down! Please, please, Ademora, please. It's okay, it's okay. Take okay. it easy. Please, calm down. Let him get out! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, need of What are you asking? What are you salt? How could he insinuate that I killed his wife? I'm huh? look, I'm having second thoughts about making peace with that idiot. Embarrassed in my entire life. Can you imagine? Do you know they will be looking at us like murderers? Obviously. Obviously. When your own brother makes such accusations, 
Obviously. Hmm. Ademora, sometimes in life, we have to do the needful. This your present sorrow, I assure you, will soon turn into an immense joy. I took the boy to the factory and he accepted. In fact, he was so excited that he agreed to our plan. You know, I had to, you know, ease him off so I can come and talk with you. Well, let me assure you that very soon your sorrow will turn into immense joy. All you have to do is to be strong and courageous and prove to be more than an average man. All these things are just obstacles to stop you from getting the ambition you deserve. Hmm? All the same, sorry for your loss. Sorry. I have been watching you for a while now. There is something that is going on you are not telling me about. I want you to tell me everything. Uncle, I don't understand what you're saying. No. You understand what I'm talking about. Tell me everything. Don't take it for granted. The legs that move fast could also be seen by the eyes that see fast. So tell me. What is your business with the Anosi case? Uncle... Uncle, nothing. It's just that they want me to offer them the throne of an, uh, uh, Okaro. But they have it already. Yes, they have it, but from all indications, it seems that uh, the Kingmakers and I believe that Shaka won't allow that to happen. So, so they want me to officially hand it over to them, so there won't be any repercussions. What is your decision on that? You asked me not to talk to anybody about that, that he's going to offer me the factory, which I've already seen, and give me some money to at least get married and have my own family. It is obvious that they will promise you heaven and earth. Did you promise them to hand the kingship over to them? Are you ready for that? I don't think that was what Adimora meant. He said he can't face the grief once again. Finish before you misquote me. Eh? He did not say he wants to perform the burial rites of his wife. He only said he wants to bury her body. Yeah, but don't you see And when the late Igwe's burial rite and passage has been completed, he will now come and perform the burial rites of, his, of, 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 of Sonia and his wife. It is not a bad idea. Ah. And I wouldn't want that to cause us any problem. You see, we, 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 are, we are going to give them our maximum support. Exactly. That is all the family ah. needs now. So that to stay clear, to stay away from all the uh, evils that have befallen the, the family. It's too much. It is really a sad time for that family. The spirit of speaking out for the truth to reign. I will not put their tragedy behind the greed of the late Igwe and his bad life he lived. Who are we to judge? Oh, no. Who are we to judge? You're pressing. What is the problem? Actually, I don't know if this is the right time to talk about this. But one who is in pain must continue to cry out. Okay, what is the problem? I no longer sleep. I've tried everything. Everything I could have tried, but... <sighs> but what? Is in name. Isn't this mother and her grandchild have continued to be a plague in my life? I meet them when I least expect. They wake me up. Uh. Huh? 
I've been really scared with all the things that have been happening in this palace. But the latest is what I can afford to endure. Are you talking about the hearing noise at night? Do you hear that too? Of course. Do you know what? I used to think we have this big rat in this house. But you know what? I went to the kitchen one night to check out some things. I couldn't find any single rat, not even a small one. But when I, won, when I wanted to go out, the whole hairs on my neck stood still. And I knew something worse than rat is in that kitchen, I know. Ngozi, now you're beginning to scare me. Please, I'm not going to keep quiet anymore. I'm going to take his room, his highness. I'm not going to keep. Let's go. I don't think I can stay here any longer. Were you dreaming about my mom? Chibik, your mom has got to be with the Lord. Be a good boy and go back to sleep, okay? I'm going back to my room. Your daddy, anything. Did you kill Chibike's mommy? Amara, I am not a killer. I didn't kill her. And whatever puts that idea into your head, trust me, it's not a good one. Those girls came to me and complained that they hear noises inside this house every other night. And you remember when I told you that I saw my mother carrying my baby? So, I thought I should bring them to you so that they will explain things themselves. So, what exactly are you girls talking about? It's the noise of someone walking around in the night, Your Highness. And do you know who that may be? I don't know, Your Highness. Sometimes it seems the person is following you, Your Highness. Ebele. Yes, Your Highness. Do you have anything to say? I'm, I'm scared. I'm just scared of it all, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. It's so absurd. I mean, we're all scared. 
okay um you girls just go about your normal duties okay we will take care of everything thank you your highness you can go now What do you think we should do? This, this is still a shocker to me. What is after you? Aji, I'm just on my way to your house. My house. Hey, let's go back. Um, I don't think there is need for that now. Aji. I'm in a very big trouble. I mean, the trouble I doubt if my position as the SM of this land can still hold. It's causing me a whole lot of headache. Look, what is the problem? Ajay, the best thing for us now is just to go and see Adamora. I guess that's the best thing for us to do now. He offered to give me a factory and a huge amount of money uh, in the exchange of the throne. What are you talking about? It is not complicated, my son. But I've already accepted the, the, the factory. Okay. You are old enough. But as an elder, I say what I know. So that the land we stand on will bear me witness. You are old enough. I don't know. Do you think I should reject it? You are a king in the making. Hmm? You are a king in the making. You are bound to make decisions. I mean, difficult decisions in difficult moments. You see, you soon sit on the throne. And the elders, the entire elders of Okano will be sitting, watching, and waiting for your decision. And, and what, you know? By the power in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, I come against any familiar spirit tormenting this house in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sisters, as we've gone round this house, prayed for God's sustenance and protection. I believe Him. He that make it this life will never let us down. Amen. Pastor, what exactly could be responsible for what these girls are complaining? Hmm. Well, the voices they complained about is not different from the one Her Majesty sees sometime. Pastor, are you telling me that the spirit of my son and that of my mother are roaming in this compound? <laughs> when familiar spirits have no place with the children of Almighty God, Amen. and by the 
power in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. This house is free from hunting. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against any principalities and powers, familiar spirits ruining this company in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will be free, my dear daughter. You will be free to it. Nice. I don't know. I didn't know you were here. Um, listen, let's let's go inside. Oh no, don't worry. How can a man survive if he does not give a conscious thinking to his actions? Ezemo, you're welcome. Thank you. Ezemo, let's go inside. Clifford. I will not go in. What happens to what is offered to you? The gods don't want to know. But what you have to offer is the priority of their immortal consideration. That is the message I wanted to deliver. But I don't understand what is I should do. When you ask questions that don't have answers, expect no answer, my son. But as a mom, and I have been having the same nightmare. Now we are sure of what the problem is. I will go home and fortify myself. I will be back here this evening to take care of this problem. Whatever has to be done, has to be done quickly. I don't want anything standing in the way of Adimora becoming the next king of Okaro. Do you hear me? I assure you that. Udoka knows better. The death of my wife is certainly not unconnected with the fact that somebody does not want me to sit on the throne. But I tell you, anyone that cannot be bought should be dealt with bitterly. Mwadike! Mwadike! There's nothing a wife can do that I have not done, but all to no avail. My husband is dying by installments, all because of the allegation of murder levied against him by his cousin. I've had you, my daughter. But I want to ask, is your husband Guilty of the allegation. No. Anyway, I have asked him severally. And he has maintained his stance that he has no hand in Sonia's death. We were all together that night when Adimora said she ate whatever it was that she ate that killed her. We all ate the same food. And drank the same wine. Mm. Now. 
your husband knows the right thing to do. He should have taken the right course if he feels that he's being accused unjustly. <laughs> now, there is nothing I can do for him because it will look as if I cry more than the bereaved. What should he have done? You see, allegation of murder is not taken lightly. It is expected that anybody accused unjustly should bring official complaints to the Council of Elders. That is the situation. Adobe, I just want to be left alone. Is it too much to ask for? This is too much to ask for. It is. You're here pining away because you were accused of killing your cousin's wife. Well, you should have gone to the Council of Elders to complain and for them to do something about the matter. Which elders? I don't want those elders that Ademora have bought over to stick their corrupt noses into my problem. Uzona, this is not just about you. It's about us. You, me, and our daughter. The earlier you wake up from your sleep of selfishness and treat this matter like a man, the better for us. What are you saying? So I'm no longer a man. When Ademora becomes the king, I would leave what he will do to you and I to your imagination. It is better you treat this matter decisively now or leave and suffer the consequences tomorrow. I'm a good doctor. As a mom, as a mom, I'm a fun year. When I'm going to have a winning swat bar. It's a mom, I'm a funny swat bar. When I joke, it's a big way. I'm out to go to Jane, Western Mazapata. You're crazy. Guess you have a bend the more on your own. No, 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 but can no mother get your woman mother? Can we sort of mother case? Can you do well with your mother? What's the reason? And do you know why number two chairs are made? Now, for the number one car, the Number one, if you're not a on a day, on a you can go to the chief. Which is a man as a one. You might have a guy as a you a Hey, <laughs> came to the palace this morning and says that he wants to see you and Dad Mola for a very important meeting. Okay, tell him I'll be there. Hmm? Um, you may leave.
you know you don't have to leave. Especially now that things are being put under control. Uh, since Pastor told me that my mother who came from Mugo and her grandchild are no more, I have been looking for a way to take Ezine away from this palace. She has nothing doing. Her husband is no more. Her child and mother are no more too. And she's not living over this town. She can't stay here on her life doing nothing. I know. I know. But even if she has to leave, it doesn't have to be now. If it has to be at all, now is the perfect time. Is that what you want, Your Majesty? Hmm? Is that what you want? <laughs> Zaram, I hate to do this. I'm sorry. But I need to be away for some time. I need to clear my head. My heart is heavy. Please. I promise to come back. You need to understand, please. I'm a woman. And I promise to be back. I don't know when. If both of you will respect the throne, which is the main reason I call this here, and come clean with yourselves, so you can we can move forward. How do you think we can move forward when Ademora here has told everybody in this town that I killed his wife? See, I want us to assume a peaceful attitude over this issue. This is not the time to thread blames, but a time to bury all animosities. And this is why I'm here in my capacity to do that which any father should do to his warring sons. Honor Udalo, if you want us to assume a peaceful attitude on this issue, let him swear that- Swear? Swear? What are you talking about? Swear for what? Oh, oh. Did you think about swearing before you told the whole world that I killed your wife? What did you put in the wine you gave to my wife the evening we reconciled at the palace? What stupid wine are you talking about? Huh? Everybody ate and drank. That was what my wife told me in the presence of my son as she was bathing her last. Let him swear by everything this community holds sacred to prove his innocence. Oh no, I greet you. Thank you very much for your fatherly concern. But as for these two, I have lost the pride to say that I belong to the same family with them. choose to fight fire with fire usually end in ashes and you see I wouldn't want that to be your portion see I need you reason deep inside your hearts and find that bond you once shared as brothers upon it you find a lasting solution to whatever problems you have. Yes. I want you to tell me exactly what you heard your mom say the night that she was dying. She was complaining about pain. She said it was painful, but she'll be all right. Did she say anything about Uncle Uzan now? My, my, my mother said he gave her a glass of wine. <laughs> it was in the kitchen that he gave her the drink. Chibike, get into the car, let's go.
I will not have you come to my house and levy such outrageous accusations against my husband. I am not leveling anything against him. All I want him to do is to come out here, look me in the eyes, swear that he doesn't know what happened to Sonia. I want to know why he does not want to swear by what they hold to you. My husband is not at home. Let me tell you something. I bought every single bottle of wine that was drunk in that house that night. Exactly. So if we're to look for what happened to Sonia, we know where to search. Isn't it obvious? We all drank the entire wine together. But Sonia drank a particular glass that was not shared by anyone. Now she drank that glass in the kitchen. It was your husband who gave it to her. Now why your husband should give her a separate glass of wine in the kitchen is what you should find out from him. Did you put anything in the drink you gave Sonia that night at the palace? What are you talking about? We were all at the dining and everybody ate and drank the same thing. If you didn't have a hand in her death, why did you refuse to swear? Why would I swear with whatever Ademola will bring? What if I swear and die? Everybody will think I'm guilty. No. I took a wise decision by not swearing with whatever Ademora would bring. Who's on now? Zaram came here and she told me Sonia told her husband and her son that you gave her a drink in the kitchen. Now, did you give her a drink in the kitchen and did you put anything in that drink? Of course, I shared some wine with her in the kitchen just to show appreciation for her broken peace between my brother and I. And I did not put anything in the drink. I just took two glasses of wine from what all of us drank. So, are you telling me the truth? It hurts me that you of all people do not trust me. Hey, Uduka, I left my home early this morning because I have something very, very urgent to do. Hmm? How did it go last night? I'm taking care of everything. Hello, Mr. Ogbo. What is pushing you? I said, what? Why are you running, man? Why are you running? <laughs> Nothing is pursuing me. <laughs> yeah, it's like she, she went like that. Nothing. Like that. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey!
<coughs> you are highly favored, my son. And I will continue to work in the truth of what the gods have directed. And that is making you the next king of our Kara kingdom. Thank you, Nine. Nine, thank you. When you become king, it will be for you to choose either to walk in the truth of leadership for the sake of your people or to choose the path of self-destruction like the former king, late king Anosike did. Udoka, who is after you? Udoka, talk, what have you done? Obaleke, Obaleke, I am finished. Obaleke, what is bigger than the ant has entered the ant's home, Obaleke. Obaleke, save me. Obaleke. Udoka, did you kill? Who did you kill, Udoka? Obaleke, I killed somebody. Obaleke, I am ready to confess. I am ready to confess, Obaleke. Obulumwani angore kwa na cheta kwa ni ibe di na mu. Obulumwani angore kwa na ibe di bende mu. Obulumwani angore kwa na cheta kwa ni ibe di na mu. Obulumwani angore kwa na. Udoka chetakwa, obulumwa ni angore kwa na chetakwa ni ipe di na muo, obulumwa ni angore kwa na udoka who who. I have done everything that is required. What remains now is the blood of the child. We will take care of that. Uh, it would have been easier if we required outside help. But trust me, I'll take care of all the arrangements and ensure we have to do what ought to be done. That's why Jay, uh, I've discussed with him. He will communicate to you what we talked about. perform my duty as the IJ of Ukaro. <laughs> I would uh, lead the little boy outside for the ceremony that would cement his position as the king of Ukaro. <laughs> what ceremony are you talking about? I was not informed about any ceremony. What would make me the Ajay of Okaro to come all the way to this place. Hmm? When Her Majesty Ozara could have been brought to us. Hmm? I don't understand it. It is alright. But I have to bring the child myself. Oh, of course! You carry him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
said my daughter. So her my princess is aware of it. So she's in, she is. As soon as we we walked out of the palace through the back door, we took them to where we prepared the boy for rituals. The rituals guaranteed Admiral's claim to the throne. What about the queen's mother? She was not necessary for the sacrifice, but we didn't want her to to start talking about what happened. We had to... We killed her. We killed her. We killed her. Killed her. Oh, my I go to my phone. That was what he ran to my house to tell me. And I thought it wise to bring him here so that all of you will also hear his confession. Hello? Hello, the body of Ajay was first start in the stream a few minutes ago. Huh? Ajay? Ajay went swimming or what? Ajay. My dad, he's dead. He was joined in the Yoma stream. Whoa! Over Talubulu? He fetch a coffin. Yoma is in the Yoma. Yoma does not drown those whose hands are clean. Hey, whoa, Sin again, him. Hey! That he is the one responsible for the disappearance of Izine's mother and Chukwe Buka. Hey! Hey, Bukwana! I'm telling you, he is in Omo's compound as we speak now. Hey! Chineke, I'm telling you, Omo's compound. Hey! Sarah, so, most um, salute your efforts in trying to keep this family as one despite all the odds. But I can only do the much I can. Uzondo has struck me where it pains most. I will never forgive him. No, you must forgive him. My Bible tells me in Mark 11, 26 that if we do not forgive others who trespassed against us, neither will our Father in heaven forgive us. How can I forgive him? The man who killed my wife so that he will be alive and Kill more people. You see, in Second Chronicle seven fourteen, God says, "If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray, and change from their wicked ways, I will listen from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land." Amen. Ademora, I really do not know what you're thinking, but I have done the best I can to make sure that things work. Okay, let me assume that my best is not good enough. Won't you at least listen to the pastor so that we can work our salvation and redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ? Eh? received the news that Ajay is dead. What? What? When? Who killed him? No idea, sir. Oh, 
Lakshmi. Lakshmi is calling. That the gods want to kill the first make mad. It is no longer that the evil men do lives after them, but that the evil men do lives with them. Weep no more, children of Okaro kingdom. Weep no more, my daughter. Yama Lindama Yama cannot kill in vain. We shall look into it. We shall look into it, my daughter. A word is enough for the wise. The gods have spoken. I was shocked at the confession of Udoka that Admora was responsible for the kidnapping and killing of Chukwebuka and the grandmother. Hmm. This is unbelievable. Chelo, Chelo, oh no, are you telling me that Udoka, the chief priest, opened his mouth in your presence to confess? Chelo, if we are not in the Anunanti, hey, for me, you see, if it, this life remains a puzzle. That at my age, I am not a good judge of character. Hey, Ademora. And can you imagine? Everybody was pointing accusing fingers at me for nothing. Even me. Even me. Zara, my sister will hear this. Madubeche, Chukwepe. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I want you to hold yourself together. And I pray God will give you the heart to bear this irreparable loss. Ajay was not only your husband, but a friend to my family. And I said to this community, we will all miss him. But God knows the best. And as Christians, we can't question God. You see, the Bible made us to understand that there is time for everything. A time to be born and a time to die. We should endeavor to give thanks to Almighty God at all times. Even in death, we must thank Him. He shall give you strength 
to bear this irreparable loss. Amen. Amen. All right, um, it's okay. I want you to hold on to this. I want the children to still have their breakfast when they have to. Don't think about anything. For whatever you need, call me. Okay. Thank you. Sir, um, I want to go to Noah's house. We must discuss. I am very concerned about this mishaps. We must find a way forward. After that, I'll come back to the house. Okay. Mm. okay. <laughs> right, bye bye. Thank you, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey! What is this woman doing here? Oh, who's the mother? Oh, oh, what is this woman doing here? What is this woman doing here? What is the meaning of this? What have you done? Done what? You murdered Chukwe Buka, his grandmother! Could you say such a thing of me? How could you? How can I go? This guy will hear me. For what? Hey! I killed her too. Kill who? Sonia. So now, bro, my child is in the middle of a cage. I'm not even going to be running. I'm not even going to be running. Hmm. We're not touching them. No more. We do. We're balancing them. We're picking them. I'm not going to go a large. I'm not going to be a big deal. Hmm. Ademora, son of Amosike, you are a great man of valor. <clears throat> it is said that the strength of a man lies within. You have done well. But it shall by the deity that guards the throne of Okara demands one more sacrifice from you to pave your way to the throne. What does Ishakwa demand of me? I'm not an ass in Woki Card Rot of one man, you mean I woke up what I live in an review. The Shakma says that the family of Anosike does not have the blue blood. The sacrifice of his innocent mother and her grandson is not enough. Ishapa demands the sacrifice of your direct blood to complete the sacrifice, and the throne shall be yours. I don't understand. Ishapa demands the sacrifice of either your wife or your son. What? Yes. That is what Ishapa demands. Ademora, I know you as a man with brave heart. Make your decisions now. The time is short. You are to sacrifice your wife or your son. My, my son. Your son? Yes, my son. Uh, no, uh, my wife. Your wife? Yes, my son. My, my wife. I make a definite decision now. 
はいよわいっす。きつい、きれい、ところ。ざら。ざら。ちょっと、ざら。ざら。はい。my eyes have seen my ears。ちっそいっす。ざら、what is it。あ、でも、ら、あ、すべて。Sonia too. What happened to、no. him? He's gone in. He's、yeah. dead. He's dead. Hey, Asio. He died after confessing. Asio. Oh no. Hey, what happened to him? Had him or? Hey, what? Hey, what? What you compromise to get, you compromise to keep. Had him or? Had him or? Had him or? Had him or? Hey. To this family, it's so sad and unfortunate. That is why I've decided, with the unknown and the elders in council, that the throne should return to where it belongs, the Mezia family. <sighs> That is the right thing to do, my brother. All this tussle for power, wealth, and they, they are just vanity. Vanity. Moreover, when one holds onto what does not belong to him, it attracts curses, not blessings.
This is offer. This offer is the main reason the late Amechia Nosike thought he could depose me as the SMO. He also held silent grudges for no and the cancer because you never allowed him to touch it. Now that the dead is buried and we want to go forward, we are here to officially hand over this offer to Clifford as the next Igwe of Okaro. Igwe Chukwebube, one of Okaro kingdom. Chukwebube Kokaro Nechi, Chukwebube. Chukwebube Kokaro Nechi, Chukwebube. Ezemwo, Ezemwo, Ezemwo. Take it. No. Use the right hand. Igwe. Now, the crowd is waiting for you out there. To be crowned. You are now fit. Akagogaro. You will go. Mm. I receive the crowning. Oh, 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 oh. Make your wish before the council. Before we go to the crowd. I greet you, my elders. Ibe. By the power bestowed upon me as the Igwe of Okara Kingdom, I receive this offer as a staff of my office. And I proclaim I, Clifford Chukwebube, Igwe Mezie. I decree and declare henceforth and generation to come. I abolish the old barbaric tradition of burying the king with human head. It shall never be practiced again. Igwe. At the death of a king, He shall be given a final of Fala right and bid farewell without a single head. May the gods strike anybody that will indulge himself in such. Igwe. Offer, I have spoken, Igwe. and so shall it be. Igwe, do. Oh, in the center. Now let's proceed for the crown.